All right, good day, everyone. So today we're going to continue our lesson um, and look at multiplying um, a two-digit number by a now two-digit number. Yesterday we talked about a two-digit number by one digit. So now we're just going to build upon what we were talking about. And uh, I'm going to show you using strategies that we talked about yesterday. We're going to now uh, increase our um, solving by one more place value. Okay, so let's take a look. All right, so of course we have our five NBT five. That's what we're going to talk about today. Um, being able to multiply a two digit number by a two digit number using a variety of strategies. And of course the strategies we're really gonna focus on is the box method, which is also known as the area model, as well as um, the partial product, okay? Um, now uh, to end it, I'm going to play uh, a video um, that would help us out with um, understanding a little bit more of the area model and the partial product. But first, I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate um, solving a few problems with this, okay? So take a look. All right, here are two, uh, two methods that I have laid out for you. Of course, if you can write these down, that'd be great. But I would first listen and then pause the video to where you can write these problems down um, so you can get a better understanding, of them, all right? So first, I'm going to demonstrate with the um, box method or the area model and we of course have 23 times 14 and what you can see that we have uh, added now we have two values right being multiplied by an additional two values okay so I just wanted you to see that and understand that there okay all right so yesterday we did a two digit by one now we're going to do a two by two so first and foremost I'm going to make my box and yesterday we had two spaces or two areas um, that we made that were basically like two rows or sorry two columns in one row But this time since it's a two digit being multiplied by a two digit We're gonna make two columns and then split that and have now two rows So what looks to be like a window, okay, so we're going to decompose 23 to 20 plus 3 and then that of course is being multiplied by 14 which we can decompose and that becomes 10 and four. All right. Now I'm going to, of course, do the answers or the products rather. Remember, a product is the answer to a multiplication problem. I'm going to change the color so you can see it a little bit better. So we have the first box. Now, typically, ladies and gentlemen, this box here is going to have your higher value. And this box here, more or less, should have your lower value, depending on how you solve this. Okay. So let's take a look. All right, so the first one we do is 20 times 10. Now, a great rule of thumb, 20 as well as 10 is a multiple of 10. Any multiple of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, 110, 1,000, 1,500. Those are all multiples of 10 for the main reason that they end in a zero. So anytime you have a number that ends in a zero, a great trick that you could think of in a way to help solve this a little bit faster is you can have a zero at the end of your number. So in this case, if we have 20 times 10, I see that 20 has one zero, 10 has another zero, so I'm gonna bring that with it. And now I can go ahead and multiply two times one, which is of course two, <coughs> excuse me. So I've built my number now, and by saying 20 times 10, or if I have 20 10 times, right? The answer, of course, the product would be for that problem, 200. All right. Next box, 3 times 10 gives me 30. There's one zero there. The box at the bottom left, 20 times 4, there's one zero. 2 times 4, of course, is 8. So I get 80 from 20 times 4. And our very last box, 4 times 3, we get 12. So now I'm going to take all of those products that we put inside of our box, and I'm going to bring them out here. We have 200, we have 80, we have 30, we have 12. I'm going to add all those together to get one final product, one answer for this simple problem, 23 times 14. So all the zeros plus 2 gives us 2 in the ones place. 
10th place. 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 1 is 12. I'm going to carry over the digit 1, which is now being represented as 100. So 1 plus 2, or 100 plus 200 gives us 300. So our answer for this problem is 322. Now I'm going to show you using the partial product. So I want you to stay with me. Again, feel free to pause at any time. But I want you to see uh, how we now get partial product when we have more than uh, one digit being multiplied by a two digit number. Okay. Partial products, of course, means I'm taking out parts of the problem, getting products from it, and at the same time being able to solve each one um, to get a final product overall. So take a look. And I, I'm, uh, at the very end, I want you to notice something because both of these have uh, a lot of common points. You get partial products actually from the area model. So take a look. We have 23 times 14. So first, follow me. I want to do 3 times the 4. So I'm going to write that over here. 3 times 4. Then I want to do the 4 times 20. Okay? So I'm going to do 20 times 4. Then I want to do a 10. Oh, oops, sorry. Let's erase that one. A 10 times a 3. Okay, so I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go back here, 3 times 10. Okay, and then I'm going to end up doing 20, 20 times 10. So we get 20 times 10. Now, again, all I did was just color code the specific equations that I'm going to be solving with it, within this one problem. And I'm going to end up getting a product for each one. So I'll color code them back. First, we have 3 times 4, which is 12. All right, 2 times 4, which is 80. 3 times 10, 30. And then finally, 20 times 10, we have 200. So add all those up, okay? All right, 2 plus all the zeros is 2. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 3 is 12. Bring that over here, regroup it. And 1 plus 2, which is 100, plus 200 gives us 3. And ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, it is the same value as we have there. Okay? That's partial products. I'm taking the products and now adding it together. And if you notice, right, it's the same thing as I did on the other side. I took all those products from the box method or the area model, and now I just did it in the partial product mode without a box. Okay? All right, so hopefully you got the answer and maybe the color coding helped a bit. We're going to do another problem so you can get a little bit more uh, assistance with this, all right? So let's keep it going. All right, here we have 47 times 38. So again, I'm going to make my box. Okay, and I have a two-digit times a two-digit. So I'm going to make here get two columns and then two rows. So first I'm going to do 40. 70 and decompose that so i'm going to get 40 and 7 and on the other side i'm going to get 30 and 8. now here it gets a little tricky with that other trick that i told you about a multiple of 10 because now we're going to get a pretty large number so you have to be very careful i don't want you to just uh rely on tips and tricks i want you to really be able to figure it out easier okay so i know that there are two zeros 40 times 30 instead of counting 40 30 times Right? Of course, I know that there are two zeros, so I'm gonna put that in. And then four times three, of course, is 12. So 40 times 30 gives me 1200 or 1200. Next, seven times 30, I know it's gonna end in a zero, so seven times three is 21. I get 210. <clears throat> Next box at the bottom left, 40 times eight. I know ends in a zero. Four times eight is 32. You got to be very careful when you do things like that, okay? If you need to work backwards and put the two, then the three, um, but just know you are you are solving this and, and getting an answer. So we get 320. And then finally, eight times seven is 56. Yeah, I'm going to take all those numbers, move them to the side. I'm going to add them all up. So we have 1,200, 320, 200. 10 and 56. 
Okay, so adding them all up, that's a six. Whoop, sorry. Next, two plus one is three plus five is eight. Two plus three is five plus two is seven. And then one plus everything else is one. So we get 1,786. Now, again, let me demonstrate using different colors for partial product so you get a better understanding, okay? So first, we're going to do 7 times the 8, then 8 times the 40, then 30 times the 7, and then the 40 times the 30, okay? So again, let me go back and state that. So we have 7 times 8, okay? And then we have um, 40 times, oh, wrong one, wrong color, wrong color. Sorry about that, ladies and gents. <clears throat> so let's go back. So that was, uh, of course, uh, red. All right. So we have 40 times 8. Okay. And then, of course, we did blue. And that was um, 7 times 30. And then finally, we did purple, which was um, 40 times. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and solve those. All right. So seven times eight, of course, is 56. Eight times 40. And it's very crucial, ladies and gentlemen, that you line up your values. Okay. If you don't line them up properly, you're going to end up getting the wrong answer. So please line them up properly. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, whatever it may be. Next. <clears throat> 7 times 30 gives us 21, or 210. And then finally, 40 plus 30, there are two zeros, so I can put that in. 4 times 3 is 12. Add that up. Okay, so I get 6 there. Oh. Right, there we go. We get 6. 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1 is 8. 3 plus 2 plus 2 is 7, comma, 1 plus nothing, of course, is that. So we get 1,786, and that, of course, is the same thing. But again, notice, box method, of course, we're using a box, right, finding the area. Partial product, we're taking out the products or finding out separate products and adding them all together, okay? So the next thing that I want you to do, I want you to briefly watch this uh, little video and we will then, of course, end it. All right. So take a listen. Okay. Bear with me here. Okay, here we go. Please enjoy. Planting green beans and 14 rules of 15. The area model is how he thought about the number of plants he got. First, he multiplied 10 by 10 and wrote 100 with his pad and pen. Then he multiplied 10 by 5. There were 50 more plants coming alive. Then 10 times 4 equals 40. And just the bottom corner was empty So he multiplied five by four And ended up with twenty more Split up the place values in multiplication Multiply the tens to get the foundation Then the other place values 
multiply Add the partial products up And check your work twice Then the farmer planted black beans In 22 rows of 15 To find out how many plants he had he drew the area model on his sketch pad He did 20 times 10 and wrote 200 down Then 10 times 2 and 20 is what he found 20 times 5 was 100 and then 5 times 2 equal 10 He added 200, 120 and 10 The sum was 330, he checked it again So there are 330 black beans 22 rows of 15 Split up the place values In multiplication Multiply the tens To get the foundation Then the other place values Get multiplied Add the partial products up And check your work twice All right. So, of course, I hope you enjoyed that. All right. And as always, of course, you know, strive for greatness. All right. Tune in tomorrow. Of course, we will be looking at a three digit by one digit. All right. And that's it. Everybody take care. See you next time.